Good morning. It is early, somewhere around the 7, 7.30 mark, Sunday morning. So if you've been following along with my chairs all the way at the bottom, my HD Wing Adventure in build, I got to go out and maiden it yesterday. And that is what's left. Kind of a funny story. Not mad. Humorous. It technically flew. <coughs> Learning process, not the end of the world. Cost me about 40 bucks to buy a new um, frame, frame shell wing thing. Not upset at all. You know, like I said, if you get into this hobby and you throw anything into the air or, or launch it or whatever, there's an expectation that it's going to crash. It's not the end of the world. You got to get over it. It's just part of, the, part of the fun, so to speak. And I still had a smile on my face. So... I'm going to post the very short amount of footage that I have from it at some point, but I wanted to share the story because it is part of the hobby. I crash, I break shit just like everybody else and wanted to show it. So we got to the field. We took it to a very, very, very large field. One of my favorite spots sort of behind the house on, on the other side of the valley. And we got there it was a little windy, a little windier than I wanted, but a little windy. Get everything set up, test our, our surfaces to make sure they work, and somehow did notice, because it's a wing, it's only got two surfaces that move in combination for pitch, and your, your you know, they flap rons, whatever the hell they're called. Didn't realize that they were backwards. As we were fooling around pre in the house here, learning things, and didn't realize that they were backwards. So when it gets thrown... And I'm pulling to the left, and it's going to the right. I just kind of did one of these, and it did it twice. First one did no damage at all. Actually, I think it happened three times. The first two times, it just kind of launched and then rolled over, um, and I couldn't get it to stay in the air and didn't figure out what it was. The third time, a lot more throttle, and I got it up. And it came down, it was a little wobbly, but it was right because it just seemed to work. But it still nosedived and it broke, opened the frame a little bit or the shell and cracked it all the way along the fuselage. But it was held, held together. At that point, I'm like, you know what? I think it's going to work, but at the sacrifice of if anything else happens to it, it's going to be unusable. But th these are very easy to build. You know, literally everything just kind of sat inside this piece. I got to get rid of the rest of this foam. <coughs> and then I probably could build it in an hour. The, the hard part's going to be figuring out how to put the O3 air unit in the new one because it's a completely different setup. But it's not a big deal. So I said, you know what, Chet? I think I got it. I got my nerves down. Throw it one more time. And like I said, throttled it good. Made sure my sticks. And again, that's another thing is that I don't have the controller in front of me. I'm using the DJI controller. So I'm using this as receiver and VTX and stuff. Minimal, minimal stick movements because of the short, short throw on the on the uh, controller. But uh, he throws it. I stay calm. I pull back just a little bit, and it goes up in the air. Fabulous. I flew around 40 seconds, give or take, which seems like an eternity with this thing. No vibrations in this thing. I could see really well. I'm turning. It's actually working. I'm flying in angle mode just to make sure it flew. Flew. I'm doing like a bank or so too. And then I'm like, you know what? Okay, we're working. We're working. Let's let's push around the sticks a little bit. Hold on. I'm turning my PlayStation on. I do a hard left bank to test it out. And it turns and it turns good. But I can see movement in in the camera that shouldn't have correlated to the movement of the, hold on, I'm multitasking like an idiot. Uh, where am I? L1. There we go. Oh. What the hell am I doing? Anyway. Oh. There we go. Sorry about that. It didn't correlate with the movement and it felt wonky. And so it still flew and it's it's kind of floating. But now I'm envisioning what's going on and what's happening is the, the front 
side of the canopy here you know this is where this is the base the center of the whole thing and the no nose was here the whole underside was split along this and it started opening up here and pulling the wing away from the airplane or wing whatever you want to call it so when I banked hard it pulled this away and started messing with everything so the servo really wasn't acting properly and he had all this air rushing in and I think it opened it up enough because when it came down this thing was kind of just flapping <clears throat> so you'll see in the video if you really analyze the movement and stuff you'll see when I go to turn it just kind of goes I've had enough I can't <laughs> it doesn't want to work anymore and I was close to 100 feet up and it just kind of twists dives and goes rushing for the ground and it crashed 100 feet away from us and when we kind of crested the hill a little bit and found all the parts I just started laughing I, it still flew you know the whole process of this was new for me because I've never never really built a big wing other than that little tiny thing that has nothing in it it's all manual so something like this that's got modes and you got to set up mixing and doing all that I've never built anything with an O3 air unit and using that as the receiver and stuff so to me, it's still an accomplishment. It still was a success because it did fly, even though I destroyed it. And I had fun doing it. it regardless if you're, if you're crashing and blowing shit up or you're doing an epic long-range flight or whatever, the idea is that you're having fun. You have to have that in your head that it may never come home. That's part of the game. It happens to every one of us. Right from the beginning, I've had things fly away and I've had things get destroyed, land in swamps, you name it. That is part of the game and you got to own it. Don't hide it. But, like I said, you'll see the footage. It's nothing crazy. You see a wonky flying wing, and then you see it slam into the ground. But it was fun. So that is my story of my HD wing build. The new one should be here Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to leave it a surprise which one I got. It's been around for a long time, but it's got the right size compartment for all of this stuff. And then uh, figuring this, that I was very happy with how I did this on the last one because these get warm and I had it on the outside where I had plenty of airflow and it seemed to work <clears throat> pretty good so on this one I can't I've got to put it inside but this has a couple options and again if I say anymore I'm going to kind of give it away but <clears throat> that's the main focus with the size of the canopy or compartment uh, plenty of room for this obviously this and this might be too small. So I might have to up to like a 2,000 milliamp for balance and for flight time. So we'll see. Lots in the works and I'm excited and I look forward to the journey again. Possible chance of flying a really epic location this coming weekend. That is like a staple of FPV if you've been in it since the beginning and some of the beginning of DRL. This location correlates to that. Another kind of cliffhanger. So I gotta do some editing gonna do some gaming gonna finish cleaning up the rest of the foam because this piece of wood could be used for a lot of things and enjoy my sunday god bless you all thanks for tuning in peace out